Today we're solving problem 31. In this problem, we're supposed to take the currency used in England with pounds and pence and calculate the number of different ways to make two pounds using any number of each of those coins. So this is actually a fairly simple dynamic programming algorithm. What we're going to do is in our dynamic programming array, we're going to keep track of how much we need to make, how much change we need to make. So in this case, we would start out with two pounds. So that's how much change we need to make. And this can reduce as we use more coins. And the second thing we're going to keep track of is what is the lowest denomination coin we've used. So the reason we're, we're going to do that is we don't want to count duplicates for different orderings of usages of these different denominations. So we're going to enforce that we use smaller and smaller denominations each time. So I can go over and switch over to IntelliJ. So the first thing we need is all the coins. So we can do val coins equals to list of. So we have 1, 2, 5, 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. And then you have 20, 50, 100, 200. 20, 50, 100, and 200. So these are our different coins. Now we're going to create our memo. So this is where we're going to store the previously computed values. So I'm going to import scala.collection.mutable. I'm going to create a mutable map. And this is going to take two integers. The first one represents how much change we need to make. And the second is what is the lowest denomination coin we've used. And it's going to return an int of how many ways there are to make that amount of money. And now we can create a recursive function. So I'm going to have a def ways to get. So we're going to take two parameters, value of type int and lowest coin type int. First, we can handle the edge cases. So if the value is less than one, that means we used a coin that was too high in the previous iteration. We're going to return zero because there's no way to make an amount that's negative. So less than zero. Otherwise, if the value is equal to zero, then it's going to be one because there's one way to make no money with these coins. And then otherwise, what we want to do is we want to recurse. So first, I'm going to do memo dot get or else update. Get or else update is really fantastic when you're working with a dynamic programming algorithm because it handles both the check to see if it's already in your memo. And if it's not, it also takes a parameter, which is what it should be instead. So we're going to get or else update at value and lowest coin. And this will be a tuple. And if value and lowest coin are not defined, we're going to recurse. The way we're going to recurse is we're going to go over each coin that we can now use and calculate the number of ways to get with the value minus minus that coins value. So I'm going to do coins. First, I'm going to filter the ones that are less than or equal to the lowest coin, because we want them to be in decreasing order. Now I'm going to take each coin and map it and I'm going to recurse now with ways to get we're going to do value minus C. And the lowest coin is either going to be what we already had, which C is going to be less than or equal to or C. So we can just provide C because we know that C is either the same thing as lowest coin here, or it's less than lowest coin. 
And we just sum these up to get the total number of ways. So now it's giving us a compile error because it's saying expected int actual any. The reason is we haven't provided a return type for ways to get. And since this is a recursive method, we have to provide that. So I'm going to give that. And now it compiles. Now all I have to do to get my answer is println ways to get 200 pence, which is two pounds, with my, the lowest coin that I can that I've used is 200 because then we limit to the full list of coins, which is how you want to start. Now I can go ahead and run this. And we get our answer, 73682. So that's it for problem number 31. I'll see you next time when we solve problem number 32.